Ready. Thank you for joining us for this Mass of the Lord's Supper. This is one of the most beautiful Masses of the year. It's going to be less beautiful this year without your presence here. But we hope that the beauty of this Mass may reach the hearts of all who watch this Mass, all who participate. We continue to face uncertain times, but we continue to face them with the certainty of our faith. As we begin, we sing what wondrous love is this. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul? To God and to the Lamb I will sing I will sing to God and to the Lamb. I will sing to God and to the Lamb, who is the great I am. While millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to and Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Glory, Gloria, glory to God in the heart. On earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth. sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory 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 to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill for you alone are the holy one you alone are the Jesus Christ with the 
Let us pray. O oh God, you have called us to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, a piece from each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord, for on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generation shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How can I make a return? 
for the goodness of God this saving cup I will bless and sing and call the name Blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. The dying of those who keep faith is precious to our God. from your hands you have set me free our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ to you upon your name you are my promise for all to see I love your name oh God our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. and honor to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise and honor to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet 
and dried them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What wondrous love is this. Tonight we enter into days of wondrous love, wondrous in depth, wondrous in horror, wondrous in glory. This love started much earlier, even before time. Through history, it continued to reveal itself over many centuries. It took a leap forward with what we heard about in the first reading, the Exodus. The angel of death passed over those houses marked by the blood of the Lamb, and in turn the Israelites would pass over from the Red Sea to the land where they would be nourished with manna, the bread from heaven. This wondrous love led people out of slavery into freedom. This wondrous love took an even, even bigger step when, in an act of divine humility, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us with the birth of Jesus. In that mystery, God comes down to us. The Creator becomes a creature. God becomes one with us. God shares life with us. Now, Jesus prepares to complete what he came to do. This divine humility takes another downward step. He comes not just to share life with us, but to share death with us and by his death and resurrection to make a new type of Passover in his Paschal mystery, moving from life through death into new life. This is what Jesus pioneered, and this is what in which we all follow. He comes to lead us out of the slavery of sin into the freedom of the children of God, and he nourishes us with the true bread from heaven, which is himself. But before all that, there's another level of wondrous love expressed in another downward step. He washes the feet 
of his disciples. He does the work of a slave. He washes the feet of the one who would deny him. He washes the feet of the one who will betray him. He himself says that he has given us a model, an example. Can you wash the feet of others, of the one who would deny you, of the one who would betray you? And before this act of wondrous love, known as Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection, there is still another act of wondrous love. He who is God takes up human life in a body, and he now gifts himself to us under the form of bread and wine. In the Eucharist, both Jesus himself and the saving action of his death and resurrection are made present to us. What wondrous love is this? Almighty God first lowers himself to become human and then lowers himself to suffer and die for us and then lowers himself, presenting himself to us under the form of bread and wine. And this gift of the Eucharist comes wrapped inside another gift, the gift of the priesthood. Like all the sacraments, this is a gift for the recipient, but it is also a gift for the whole church. Each of the sacraments isn't simply about what I get, it's also about who I can be who I can become in Christ for others. Baptism is a gift, not just to the one being baptized, but to the entire church, and in a broader sense, even to the world. The sacrament of reconciliation isn't just something we're to do, but rather by doing it, we are to live lives of reconciliation in a world that so often desperately needs it. Marriage is a gift to those who get married, but it's also a gift to the church and a gift to me. I think of the witness of so many married couples, starting with my parents and the gift that has been to me. And so too, the priesthood is a gift not just given to the ordained, although I've experienced it as a gift, but it's a gift given to the whole church, a gift given to the world. Now, a priest standing up here and talking about priesthood can start to seem self-serving, but after nearly 29 years, the priesthood continues to be a gift to me in my life that enriches strengthens, challenges, and stretches me in many ways as I am privileged to accompany others and to bring Jesus to them and to bring them to Jesus. This night especially, I ask you to pray for all priests and for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, especially for from our own parish. One dream of mine is to see St. Therese Parish be a fountain of healthy vocations to the priesthood and religious life. What Jesus did on Holy Thursday, he did in a shadow, in the shadow of the cross looming before him. As we enter with the church throughout the world into these days of wondrous love, we also do so in some darkness. The darkness of being separated from one another physically, the darkness of a worldwide health crisis, the likes of which we've never seen, the darkness of sin, 
and we do so in fear and uncertainty. And Jesus, at this point, so close to his death, as seen in his agony in the garden, was at a point of fear. Tonight, we're separated physically from each other and from one of the fruits of this wondrous love in Holy Communion. And that is so painful for so many. And yet, we are still present or not, we are still united in this wondrous love. In his suffering, Jesus revealed his love. And we can do the same in our suffering. This wondrous love is more powerful than death. And in the next few days, we will see how the seeming weakness of this wondrous love will prove itself to be stronger than death. And yet, even in the darkness, the light of this wondrous love continues to grow, giving us both light and warmth, a light that will outlive the darkness. As members of the church, as members of the body of Christ, we're never alone. We're united in communion with believers, our brothers and sisters throughout the world and throughout space and time. What wondrous love is this? This wondrous love has a name, Jesus. It also has another name, the Eucharist. It has still yet another name, the Paschal Mystery. In these next few days, with lives of ever more intentional faith, we seek to embrace and to be embraced by this love and to let the light of that love shine in us and through us to all that we meet. May our lives, wherever we may be, wherever we may go, may our lives always be grounded in this wondrous love. With hope and confidence, we pray. For the church throughout the world, may this celebration of the sacred triduum draw us closer together and not farther apart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of nations, may they work for the common good and respect for human life at every age and every stage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all those infected with the coronavirus and for all the sick, may they have a speedy and full recovery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those serving on the front line of this pandemic, and for its speedy end, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parish community of faith, may this difficult time lead us more deeply in the passion of Christ and into the lives of intentional faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life, particularly from our own parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the many prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts,
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, hear this prayer as we offer in the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We sing the servant song. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. At your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will, will be done, done. on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in the kingdom who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion song is Ubi Caritas. Oh. 
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Very briefly, some parish announcements. Please continue to visit our Facebook uh, site and our web our connections page on our website for all the information that's going on uh, tomorrow there is no public stations of the cross uh, we will feature on the uh, facebook the recording of the station of the cross that father andrew and i did earlier so you can pray with us at home at your convenience there uh, mass the commemoration of the lord's supper uh, live stream because the church will be closed will be at 7 p.m tomorrow night. The Easter Vigil, again live streamed, will be at 8 p.m. Easter Sunday Mass will be live streamed. The church will be closed until 11.30 a.m. Mass will be offered at 10 a.m. And of course that will be available to you as well. Confessions are heard on Saturday afternoon from 2.30 to 4.30. Additionally, if you go to the Facebook site, there's a message from Bishop Johnston he, along with uh, Pope Francis, is asking everyone to play, pray the Litany of the Sacred Heart at the same time tomorrow. So for us, that would be at 11 a.m. You can watch the bishop's message and learn more about that. But if, you, if it is possible, at 11 a.m., please join the rest of the world in praying the Litany of the Sacred Heart. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sing Holy Darkness. Yes. Go in peace. Thanks. Glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. To God. Blessed night, heaven's answer hidden from our sight. As we await you, O God of silence, we embrace your holy night. I have tried you in fires of affliction. I have taught your soul to grieve in the barren soil of your loneliness. There I will plant my seed. Holy darkness, blessed night, heaven's answer hidden from our sight as we await you O God of silence we embrace your holy night I have taught you the price of compassion you have stood before the grave though my love can seem like a raging 
storm This is the love that saves Holy darkness Blessed night Heaven's answer Hidden from our sight As we await you O God of silence We embrace your holy night Were you there when I raised up the mountains? Can you guide the morning star? Does the hawk take flight when you give command? Why do you doubt my power? Holy darkness, blessed night, heaven's answer hidden from our sight. As we await you, O God of silence, we embrace.